Hello world! Another week, another challenge. This week we'll take a look at Angular 2 routing. We'll be extending our to-do application that we've been building in the previous two screencasts. If you haven't seen them, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. So, let's get started. So, I've done a couple of things off-screen. Uh, let's go through them each one by one. So, I've updated the Angular version to the most current one, which at the time of this recording is Alpha 35. And I've also included the router uh, module. Uh, other than that, the index page looks the same. Uh, I've also done a refactoring. As you can see, we have a components folder, which we didn't have uh, before this. And we have two components in there. We have an about, about component and a to-do component. So the about component is uh, a new component, which just displays a simple template which says welcome to the about page. And the to-do component is the application logic that we could find in our app TS before. Uh, so the, diff the main difference here is that we don't import bootstrap anymore and we don't call bootstrap at the end of this uh, file since that that's done in this guy right here app.ts so in app.ts app we will configure application and we will configure the roots and uh, the first thing we need to do to configure roots is we're going to need to import a couple of modules from Angular 2 router. And we're going to need to get something called router injectables. Injectables. And we're going to pass these in here as component injectable bindings. So we can't actually see uh, what kind of list this is in the, t in the definition file, TypeScript definition file. So if you want to see what we're actually injecting here, uh, I encourage you to take a look at the documentation or the framework itself. So once we imported that, we can uh, we can create our templates. So we're gonna use a custom element here called router outlet. And this is the outlet where the components will be loaded into. Uh, if you compare it with Angular 1, uh, it's the ng-view uh, directive. We're also going to need to pass router outlet uh, that's here. All right, so we haven't actually imported router outlet yet. So we're going to need to import that module, uh, router outlet. We're going to pass it into the directives here. And uh, now we want to be able to actually configure the roots. So we want the to do component to be loaded uh, uh, once we hit the index page. So to configure the roots, there are probably many different ways to do this. Uh, bear in mind, I'm no expert in Angular 2 yet. I've just familiarized myself with it for a half an hour or so before I started recording this. So this is a way to do it. Uh, let's see here. So we want something called router config, which is uh, another annotation or root config. I'm going to need to import this guy from the Angular 2 router module. And here we can pass in router configurations. So we can say that for the root path we're gonna want to load the component to do. Then we can give it an alias which we can use for, uh, when we create our links later. So we're gonna call this the home root. I'm gonna copy paste this and we're gonna create uh, an about root as well. Then we want to load the about component. We're gonna give it an alias about. Alright, so now we have configured two roots and since the selector for this component is app, this will be matched up with the app uh, custom element here and the roots will be configured. 
So hopefully now when we reload the application, we will see uh, that the do component be loaded, which is this guy right here. All right. So if, if we read the, uh, the error message here, we can see that no base href is set. So the default uh, location strategy is HTML5 based. And for that to work, we're going to need to provide a base href on our index page. So up here in the header, we can just say base href. Tell it that it's the root. And now hopefully if we reload the page, yay, so we got the uh, to-do component loaded into the router outlet. So it looks the same as before. And we have validation. And so it looks the same, but we're actually loading it into the outlet instead. So now we can create Let's see here. Now we can create in our app TS here. We can have uh, some links to the about page. All right, so we are back. As you can see, I've just created a simple navigation uh, where we have a link to the to the home page and a link to the about page, and I'm using a, a custom directive called root to link. So for this to work, I'm gonna need to import import it from the angular to router module root link and I'm gonna need to pass it to the directives area here into the view annotation All right so if we revisit our page now refresh it we can see I have two two links at the, at the top if we click about we get the about page if we click to do, we get the do uh, component. So what about if we'd like to pass a parameter to a component? How do we do that? So that's pretty easy as well. So you're going to need to tell this root here that we have a parameter called ID, for instance. And let's pass it a string literal. Uh, called hello world. Let's see, let's make sure I didn't get this wrong. Right, like that. Uh, let's pass hello world. And in our about uh, component, we're going to import root params from the root module to the page this is the ID and then bind to something called ID from that to work we're gonna declare a, fee, a property called ID which is a string and to the constructor we're gonna resolve root params as params and we're going to assign the id property to params we're going to get the id param so in a link here we are passing in hello world as the id and the way for us to get that uh, and from our from uh, to get it from uh, in, to get it in our component is to resolve root params to, in the constructor, and then we can access the parameters by using this get method. And we're also going to need to redefine the root, of course, to say that we are passing along ID here. So if we refresh the page now. Because here, as we hover the uh, hover the about link at the bottom, I don't know if it's clear. I'm gonna I can mark it in the edit later. 
but we are passing in hello world as the ID and when we hit the hit that component we get we are binding the ID into the template so that's how you get uh, how, you, how you pass parameters between components on roots all right so uh, I actually I'm, I'm actually not that fond of the HTML5 location strategy here so I want to use the hash location strategy uh, so the so the links looks uh, a little bit nicer in my opinion so to use that instead We're gonna need to import a couple of things from the router module. We're gonna get location strategy. I'm gonna get the HTML5. Whoops. And then down here or we bootstrap the application, we're gonna need to bind and once again we're gonna need to import bind before we can use it. We're gonna bind location strategy to the HTML5 location strategy class. So we can see if we follow that if you look at the definition file, it extends the location strategy. Uh, right, so this is the HTML5 location strategy. We actually wanted the hash location strategy. Uh, so we can actually, actually import them both here to see how we can switch between these two uh, location strategies. So we want the hash location strategy. Make sure it all fits on the screen. Right. And if we refresh the page now, let's hit the root. You can see that we get the, got the hash there. We hit the about page, we got the hash sign there instead. So it's up to you which location strategy you'd like to use. So that's about it. All right, so that's about everything I've got on Angular 2 Roots for now. My opinion is that it's pretty verbose, just like uh, Angular 2 forms, but once you get the hang of it, uh, it comes pretty naturally. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye.